My main research interest is the placenta. The placenta is a fetal tissue, fetal organ that grows into the maternal uterus. And it does exist only during pregnancy and has a very important function to nourish the fetus with nutrients and oxygen. What we do is to try to understand the communication between mother and fetus. Very, very uh, early um, at the beginning of pregnancy and throughout pregnancy. And we uh, aim to understand why um, the maternal immune system does not reject the fetus, even though the fetus is a four inch um, body. It contains half uh, four inch antigens because it's half mother, half father. And by the classical rules of immunology, it should be rejected, but it's not. And this is because the maternal immune system generates a positive, a tolerant immune response um, that aims to support the establishment of pregnancy and the growth of these feeders in the maternal womb. Uh, on the one side, want to understand the communication between mother and fetus, and on the other side, want to know how environmental chemicals, how, uh, for example, endocrine, endocrine disruptors or plasticizers can modify, can uh, interfere with the um, communication between mother and fetus, leading to pathologies, pregnancy pathologies, but also to pathologies that may uh, appear or manifest later in childhood or even in adulthood. There are a lot of uh, um, diseases or health complications that appear later but have their origin in the placenta and we want to know whether this may be even triggered by environmental chemicals. that society will benefit from our research by understanding um, the, uh, not only the basic mechanisms of um, fetomaternal communication in pregnancy, but also the effects of man-made chemicals that we are using every day that of course are very useful for our daily life, but we should not abuse of them. And we hope that with our results, we can contribute to a better regulation of, uh, in the use of plasticizer, pesticides, and, and other man-made chemicals that interfere with our health.